The nervous system along with the brain is responsible for acquiring information from the environment, processing them and generating suitable responses. During transmission of information, a voltage difference develops in the nerve cells, neurons between wire-like connectors called axons and interfaces called synapses, causing electric charges or current to flow along axons. The currents discharge the synapses, releasing neurotransmitters which travel across to the connecting neurons and trigger new signals in them. This process repeats till the signals reach their destination. Brain computer interfaces or BCIs attempt to measure the electrical, magnetic and physiological changes caused by these signals and interpret them. Them. The best signals are the direct ones acquired by placing electrodes within the brain itself but require invasive procedures like surgery. Electroencephalographs or EEGs can acquire signals from the scalp non-invasively but these suffer from undesirable interferences. In electrocorticography or ECOG, a semi-invasive procedure, electrodes are placed in the external layers of the brain and can measure signals superior to EEGs. Most common non-invasive BCIs are magnetoencephalographs (MEG) and functional magnetic resonance imaging (fMRI). However, Due to their portability and low cost, EEGs are omnipresent. Signals in the brain are weak, far from the EEG electrodes and insulated by intervening tissues. However, when a large group of neurons emit similar signals, the cumulative variation in voltage can be measured at the scalp. Data acquired by BCIs are pre-processed to eliminate as much undesirable information as possible and translated using adequate algorithms to interpret corresponding actions. This information can then be used to manipulate different devices like bionic limbs. Thus BCIs hold great promise in improving lives. However, artificial materials suffer from compatibility or reliability issues within the body. The language of neural communication is yet to be decoded accurately due to its complexity. Signals vary not only from person to person but also in the same individual. While invasive interfaces are not readily acceptable, non-invasive interfaces yield inferior signals. But if neural language is reliably deciphered and minimally invasive and highly reliable connections established with the neurons, the potential benefits of BCI are limitless. Viable, albeit rudimentary microprocessors, live biological neurons, wetwares have already been developed. Further advances could possibly make such wetware grow and evolve like a real organism, sans any biocompatibility, reliability or stability issues of artificial materials. Such a conscious neuroprocessor could be programmed to alter neural responses to our advantage to arrest or reverse cell degeneration, delay aging, improve the constitution of humans and even cure deadly diseases like cancer. Marooned on this planet and evolution not helping us much either, if humans were to defy nature and survive inevitable extinction, potential benefits from BCIs outweigh the risks.